Ever since the Helicat swap, I've gotten a lot of questions about how do you burn so much rubber in a front wheel drive automatic? Well, lucky for you, today I'll reveal my secrets. Before I put you on game on how to burn out a front wheel drive automatic, I do have to warn you, you may blow your transmission. I've already blown a transmission. I would not recommend doing this because it's going to damage your car. So if you don't want to damage your car, just watch me be a dumbass on the internet. <laughs> But if you do want to break your car today, this is how you do it. So there's multiple methods you could use to do a burnout in a front wheel drive automatic. Here's my preferred method that made clouds just like this. And it's very simple. Drop in, drive, make sure the e-brake is up, like put the e-brake up all the way. Of course, make sure traction control is turned off and then floor it. I'm actually gonna do it right now because like I said, it probably will break your car and I don't wanna break my car. So no more brands for the time being, but if that doesn't work, there's another method you could try. This one will definitely break your car. Drop it in neutral, rev it up, like go ahead and like, rev up the car by hold the rest for like a second, shift into drive and then keep on flooring. It. In the midst of doing that, you may blow your transmission after one attempt. So it's not really the most ideal, expects if you have high rev. So if you do try this, at least don't be revving that high. And even though I can't do it anymore because it'll break the car, I used to put on an insane smoke show. If you have you seen one of those smoke shows, here's a video on my best drifts with huge smoke clouds on screen right now. So click and go watch it. 